Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this matchup between the Eagles and the 49ers. The tight end position. We don't normally say going into a game that this could be the difference maker, but that could be the case here today. Yeah, there's no doubt that could be the case today. You know what, Jim? As time goes along, we're going to say this a lot more. Tight ends. The NFL coaches are getting smarter. They're finding more ways to get the football to these guys. They're big, they're athletic, and they're in the middle of the field. They can go anywhere they want. Tough to cover them in situations like that. on the stop to send him to the 20-yard line. Man, man, man. Ohio, Ohio. First down here. And James is taking the handoff. Has some space to work with. That little wiggle just left the defender standing there. Bill, you always talk about establishing the run early. And they do it with that one big play. Oh, they sure did. This offensive line and that play, they put a whipping on the defensive linemen and linebackers that time. And a good job by the running back taking advantage of it. Dropping back three, challenging the defenders to the right side. Oh, almost caught. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man to man coverage. up in the pistol formation the wide receiver in motion second down and ten but Michael James gets the carry he's got room twist away from the hit imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground and we talk so much don't we about the passing game in the NFL but it's still about who can out hit the other one and right now the offense they are winning that battle nice run Gets past the first wave. Connor Barwin makes the tackle. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. Back to the ground, they run right. Running play went through 11. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Up the middle. Down to the 15. Well, this early in the game to watch the opposing offense march down the field and get inside the 20. This keeps the defense. Uh, they might be shaking a little, but if they stop them here to a field goal try or worse, That'll get their confidence back. Good job that time by the old line. How about that? Nice box, and they got a nice little run there inside the red zone. Offense lines up here. Well, Michael James going to lose yards here. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Kaepernick from the gun. Inhales the pass. Oh my gosh, he should have scored that time. Gets tackled inside the five yard line. Now we'll see if the offense is good enough to push it in. defense on the field first and goal they're running the option here runs it across touchdown I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90% of the time 
is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. Count it. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. They come out in the dime package. First and ten. They go to the right side. Fumble. When you hit an offensive player like that, trust me, they're going to let the football go. Hoopers in the slot. First and ten. The throw to the left. Jeremy Macklin makes the grab. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. That reception gave them the first down. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Cooper is going to get set in the slot for this snap. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Michael Vick has a big arm, and he has big legs, too, when it comes to making plays. He knows how to fake defenders out, get around them, and still pick up big yards. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First and 10, he's going to the left. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down coming up. They'll go ground. And that gains one. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short gain in the red zone. Pitches it back. Driving ahead for four. Well, it's a good job by the defense getting that tackle inside the five-yard line. Now we'll see if they're good enough to keep the offense out of the end zone. Run it again. Middle. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Well, that's four plays and out for the offense, and that was bad. Bad play calling, bad play, bad execution. Go to the bench and try to rethink what you're doing. down offense readying for the snap what a hit and the ball is dropped well it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver but the defender did it that time he hit him that football came loose incomplete pass It's now second down. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. He 
He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position, and he knocks the football down. The 49ers in the pistol. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Third and ten. Going off tackle here. To the right side. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. That wraps up the first quarter here in San Francisco. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. Receivers stacked up on this play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Tackles made. What was the defense doing that time on that fourth down try by the offense? Disorganized, not ready, and they give it up. Here's the first snap after the big play. Running to his right. Manningham's lined up in the slot. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. It's intercepted! They've got him down there. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Uh, nobody's open. Tries to force the pass and look. What's it turn into? An interception. Michael Vick will be under center. First and ten. Screen pass. Out of completion this time. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. A running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Running it like it's an option play. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Selig's playing out of position in the backfield here. Second and two. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. Savick's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and ten, into the open flat. Reaches out and snatches it. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Lined up now as a slot receiver. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Dante Whitner picks off that pass. And he's brought to the ground. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position and they made the interception. They face first down. They motion the receiver around to the other side. No one in sight has the grab. No one's going to get him now. The 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field, and 
Hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The 49ers for the extra point. No, it's not. It's a fake. He's looking to the right here on this throw. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they fail to get the two. Well, Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Hanna. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. down on the way. They're setting up screen. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. A terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. Here we have second down. Takes the snap. We're about midway, second quarter. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because they're watching the quarterback's eyes. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second and 12. Looking for an open receiver on the right. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it, but it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. Hoopers, a receiver in the slot. Third down and 12. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. You know, when that football was coming towards him in the air, he knew if he caught it, he was going to take a big hit. Well, you know what? Good thing he caught it, because if he'd have dropped it, he still was going to take a big hit. Nice catch by the receiver. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Hoopers in the slot. First and ten. Wide to the left. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. A little screen set up here. Going to be a tackle for a loss. The quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Third and five. He'll fire it out to the left. And he hauls it in. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down. And the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Ah, it's a terrible job by the defense. And out to about the 33. That'll be second and four after the running play. Vic standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. This long drive continues. Third down and four. Throws to the right. Makes the grab. 
and picks up maybe three or four. Good job by the offense, kid. Another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field, the defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. Mounting a serious drive. First and ten. McCoy's got it on a pass that had some heat. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Offense heads to the line for the 13th play of this drive. They bring him to the turf. You need a lot of variety when you get down here in the game. You're losing. You're close to the goal line. You've got to catch the defense by surprise. Can't wait to see this play call. The long drive continues. Third and goal. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. If the defense is not going to play for the quarterback sneak, then make them pay for it. Take advantage of it. That's what the offense did. The quarterback took advantage. Bill declined the penalty and let the play stand. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. made right around the 26-yard line. Arroyo! Arroyo! This will be the last play before halftime. First and ten. Followed up behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Black round, black round. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. He's going deep. And the interception by Patrick Chung. He stacked up at that point. That's the end of the first half. And we'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. We're back here now in this one where the 49ers lead by six. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. I had a moment to speak with Danico Ryan at halftime. He told me the turnovers really hurt their momentum in the first half. But the great thing about football is that they have the second half. Guys, he's looking for his team to create some turnovers this half and hopefully get back in this one. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Sean McCoy is in the backfield. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Another play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Cooper's lined up in the slot. Second and 11. They're going to get him here for a sack. This defense is awesome in blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the snap count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. Third and 
16. He wants to go deep. Clutch catch. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. See how they back up the big play here. Trying to find an opening to the right. Got a couple. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice change up. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short gain. Second down now. Sticks to his hands. And that's enough for a first down. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside the 20 yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. So, first and goal to go. They break through, tackle them behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and goal from the eight. Going across the middle, got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Good job by the linebacker that time. Saw the receiver coming in his area, read the quarterback, and in wonderful position to knock the pass down. Michael Vick backed off the line, shotgun formation. Third and goal from the A. Gets his feet down right near the chalk. Third and goal. You don't get in the end zone. What do you do now? I think you go for it. You call the right play. Give your team a chance to put a touchdown on the board. There's a momentum killer right there. The flag comes out. I think we have a false start. Boy, coaches Offense. talk about it so much. Penalties before the down. snap of the ball. We got to avoid them. And the biggest one of all is the false start. A short field goal try on the way. You got to take advantage of good field position. The offense doesn't do it that time. I know they get three points out of it. Nice kick, but still a letdown for the offense. And a touchback. Michael James is in the backfield. Run it with the counter. That'll stop the play right there. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. This will be second down. James going to take the handoff now. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Well, when you're on the defensive side, if you read the offensive formation, where do they have the most numbers at? And that's usually where they're going to run the football. That time the offense goes to the strong side, gets outside. You should have an extra defender there waiting for him. Terrible job by the defense. They're able to move the chains after that last run. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, 
and it cost his team yards lost. Kaepernick hits Crabtree with that pass. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts him in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Wide receivers are bunched up. Third and four. The 49ers get a first down. When you play a cover three defense, you protect against the deep pass. But the problem is all the underneath stuff is wide open and the quarterback is taking advantage of that. And Manningham's lined up now as a slot receiver, trying to power his way right up the middle. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Second and short following the run. They feed it to him again. He'll be brought down, but not before taking up the first down. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. Wide 49ers in the end zone. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on to that lead with a touchdown. It's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals fair catch. They come to the line and it's first down. Vick in shotgun formation. Catch is made. Gains 17. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Cooper's a receiver in the slot. Vick's looking long. And they can't connect. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Second down and 10, looking for a receiver on the left side here. Dick off the mark intended for Jeremy Macklin. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason they took their eyes off the football before it got there. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Looking to the right side and throwing. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the change. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with an Eagles official. It appears this is just a minor injury, so he'll be back on the field here in short order. was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Fix back in shotgun formation. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a quarter route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. Just 25 yards to pay dirt. One more snap and another quarter is in the books. Second and 10. Looks to his left. The Eagles now move the chains. That wraps up the third quarter here in one of the world's greatest cities, San Francisco. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the fourth. The 
offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. He had no time to get set. Sellers, a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. He gets to toss. Touchdown. This game is tight. Well, that's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, and what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. The Eagles for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. He will run this one back. Runs out of bounds. Nickel formation here for the defense. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The ball is jarred loose. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. down as they head to the line. McCoy. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. Sean McCoy is in the backfield. Second down and 11. McCoy's going to secure the handoff. to the right here on this throw. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. The coach's challenge is not answered. The play on the field will stand. That play is going to be challenged. There is the red flag. Loaded up now, bring out the jumbo formation. The Eagles get a first down. Show me a team that can pick up the quarterback sneaks on fourth and short, and I'll I'll show you a team that has a good center and two good guards. They get a good push inside, and the quarterback is able to get the first down. Get it, baby. 
First down here after the run. This is a screen play all the way. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. It's crunch time here in the fourth, about midway through the final quarter. This one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Third and 11. Surveys, trying to make something happen. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stopped the offense that time. Hoopers in the slot. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Throws to the right. And he was wide open. Gain of 17. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. We reach the two-minute warning. This will be the eighth play of this drive as they go ground here. To the running back. Touchdown at the end. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The point after is good. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. at the 18-yard. On the return. Oh, 
Setting up in the pistol on this play. The wide receiver in motion. First and ten, handoff. And he'll try it left. Jim, that's a nice job by the offensive coordinator there, being patient here in the fourth quarter. He's not down that much, so he's sticking with the run game and gets a short run that time. The 49ers come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. The 49ers head to the line. They've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. He's scrambling now. Throwing now to his left. up in the pistol formation the quarterback motions the wide receiver second down and ten hand off to the back to the right side good job that time by the offense power run gets him a few yards let's go now to Danielle Bellini who has the injury update guys I just spoke with a 49ers official LaMichael James's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious yes he'll be sore tomorrow guys but that's not going to stop him from returning today The 49ers will approach this play from out of the pistol. Third and six. Under fire on that throw. formation for the defense here gonna take off with it and here he goes and he's out of bounds Lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. They motion the receiver around to the other side. First down and 10. And James has got on the handoff. Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back for a short game. This will be the eighth play of this drive. To Vernon Davis. Touchdown. This is like the Jacoby Jones touchdown catch in the playoffs against Denver. No time left, and they connect on the long winning touchdown pass. Oh, you're right. You give a lot of credit to the offense, Jim. What a play by them, the quarterback and the receiver. But the defensive backs, oh, my gosh, they made so many mistakes, and that's why they're going to lose the game. And he begins his return. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. This game is about to finish. 
First and ten. Under pressure and incomplete. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Second and ten. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. That ball was picked off. A tightly contested contest that has now come to a conclusion. Well, we saw it just moments ago. A touchdown at the end to win the game. When you score late in the game and get a touchdown like that, boy, that just makes it double exciting. A lot of joy over there. Enjoy the big victory.